Hi guys, how do you like my hair? I thought I'd let it grow for a while, but that's it. I can't stand it anymore. I'm gonna have it cut next few days. Look at, a, look, look at, that, look at that beautiful scenery around here. Beautiful, isn't it? Sunny day in May, and we're out here for a walk. Basically you and me. And I thought, why not share those beautiful outdoors and at the same time discuss a certain issue or a certain thing that keeps recurring with me. And that thing is, um, um, you know, you often get the, to hear something like, oh, you know, my colleagues are all stupid or my customers are all so stingy. Or, you know, my, my, my best half is always uh, so, uh, you know, doesn't feel like doing anything. And what do you do in these situations? Obviously, it's not easy to change these situations. You're not going to quit a job because of that. You're not going to quit a partner because of that. What do you do in these situations, you know? And it's often where I'd say, uh, you know, you got to think like sewage treatment. Now, what that means is that... When you have a situation which you can't change or you do not wish to change, what's the next best thing you can do? And one thing is to outshine that situation. For instance, let's take, let's take that case. You're in a company and you feel you're way better than all your colleagues. You feel your colleagues are all lazy and stupid. What do you do? Well, one way about it is you can vent and, and complain about it and go home every day and tell them, well, can you imagine how stupid that guy was or how, how stupid this person was? But the other way is, see it as a benefit, see it as an advantage. Because it doesn't take you much, if they're all so stupid and so lazy, it doesn't take you much to outshine them in the company. It doesn't take you much to outshine them in the company and in your sector. So maybe even if the company doesn't appreciate your extra effort, your extra effort will be noticed by other companies in, your, in that sector. And I'm just changing uh, sides. Uh, the same thing is with everything else. I think that if you make yourself attractive, in any case, in any form, be it physical or you know, career-wise or... Uh, you know, mental, you're going to be more attractive to everybody, not just to the people you're working with, not just with the people you're with, but you're going to be attractive to everybody, okay? And that's what you got to think. If you think, if you come to a point where you say, you know, always complaining, you're always, uh, you know, like, for instance, oh my God, it's a lockdown, I can't do anything, what do I do, what, you know? But instead of complaining about that, about a situation you can't change, why not? approach it differently i'd say you know what can i do in this lockdown what can i do which would help me for the future you know what is what are the things that i wanted to do in the past that i couldn't do because of time but now because of the lockdown for instance i could do them or because now i'm in a job and i've got like loads of stupid colleagues around me what do i do well what about me knowing more than them what about me taking more responsibilities you know, what if I got stingy customers? Well, let's say if, I've, if I'm, you know, offering a product and the customers are willing to pay the price that I have envisaged. Well, what about keeping some rights to that product where you can, or that service, where you can offer that service to other people, where you sort of leverage that service. So that's what I did in the past. For instance, if I had a customer and I did some custom software for them, and, uh, you know, they said, you know, yeah, I would love the software, but I can't pay it. I can only pay that much. So I said, instead of like, ah, oh, well, man, are you stingy? I'm not going to do business with you. No, I did business with this person or these persons. But, and here's a big but, I thought, you know, how could I earn more from that software? Because it's definitely more than what they're willing to pay. Well, then I said to them, okay, you know what? I can give you to that price. However, I got the rights. They don't care. Main thing, they got their software. Okay, so I did the software for them. And I got the rights to the program. What I did, next time somebody came for exactly the same request, they got it. But I had no work to do. So the second customer, I was earning full. 
third customer, same thing. So I was leveraging that thing. So what I did, the first customer, for instance, I treated sort of a, like, a, like a lab. All his requests I did and fulfilled. And I wasn't like paying attention to the money. But all the other customers, they were paying, whereas I'm not doing any effort anymore because my effort was with the first customer. So you see, I, I, I took a situation which was basically sewage, where a normal person would say, ah, you know what, nah, if you're not paying, you know, it's not worth it. And I said, no, never mind, you pay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how I can earn money out of that. Now, obviously, if I, if I thought this solution is just for this guy and, you know, nobody would use that, then obviously I might have, you know, reached a limit where I'd said, ah, you know what, that's not worth my while. But in many cases, that's what I say, like with sewage treatment or with um, uh, garbage recycling. You can always extract something out of garbage. You can always extract at least water out of sewage. And the thing is, can you extract that? And I think this is where the, where the, where, where the rewards are. Extracting something, out of, uh, extracting something out of something that nobody is bothering about. See? So that's... The way I, I, I treat life. Because if you go around and say, oh, you know, I've got crappy colleagues. Well, think about it. Put it this way. Let's say if you were in, in a very smart place. I mean, I mean, it might be that you're the dummy. So, you know, it's better to be the smart guy in a dumb place. At least you can outshine everybody else. Instead of being, you know, the dummy in a hyper smart place. Same thing is with everything else, you know. So what I'm saying here is that, sure, you can vent, sure, something happens, like something out of your control. I don't know, like, for instance, you plan a picnic and, and the weather suddenly rains. So what are you going to do about it? Well, you can obviously complain and vent, but after that, do something constructive. Do something, not only to alleviate the situation, but maybe make, turn or make a better situation out of... Um, out of that of the bad initial situation same thing as with that software i just talked about previously initially i was thinking about a couple of grand for that software it took me like a couple of days i was thinking a couple of grand but it turned out to be a very profitable product because i did the work once and i leveraged it and i did you know and and all the work was was concentrated on this one customer who paid nearly nothing and all the others paid also nearly nothing but the beauty about it is because I only did the work once and I made sure that I kept the rights to myself I could leverage that product you see instead of saying oh no I'm not doing for it so I got into instead of doing custom software I got into products I started doing products okay and the same thing is with a lot of things. Don't be so fixated. If you're, let's say, in a place and you're not getting enough money, for instance, you're not getting enough salary. Question is, how can I get more money without changing that place if I like that place? And then here's the question, well, what is valued in here? And then how can I achieve this value for me to be able to earn more? See, that is, in, that is I find, a way better approach than... You know, just complaining about how stupid everybody is and how stingy your boss is and you're not getting any money and you deserve more. You see what I mean? It's like, if you think you deserve more, then make sure you deserve more. If you're saying like, you know, <clears throat> I don't know, I'm, I'm living in this silly location, everything is ugly over here, you know, well then make, at least make your home the beauty spot of the whole location. You know, it's like living in a rental block and the whole block looks scruffy and dirty from the outside. Well, make sure your apartment looks brilliant from the inside. That's what you can control. Focus on that. Be the attraction. See, and that's, 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 that's sort of my message to you that because a lot of people like tend to think about how negative something is and they sort of descend in that negativity. And that's a... Not very constructive way of living your life. Same thing is like if somebody left you. Okay, sure, sure. One is sad, sure. But what's the way forward? I'm going to be sad for the next five years? I'm going to be sad for the next 20 years? 
No, what's the way forward? And you know what? If I'm going to go into a new relationship, maybe I should do another relationship, a different relationship than the previous one. Maybe a better one. And what I found from my personal experiences that regardless of the situations, every time you thought, oh my God, I lost this situation, or I'm not getting any better, you're going to get way better. I never witnessed where I was into a situation A and if that situation A went, that I got in a worse situation B. B was always better than A. Be it relationships, be it jobs, be it anything. So, you know, one has to be optimistic and say, you know, even though the situation looks as if I can't control it, even though the situation looks like a, I don't have any uh, uh, control over it, you do. You do. You just have to change the parameters a bit. It's like with that software example I mentioned earlier. Initially, I was doing custom software, and obviously, if the customer is not willing to pay, obviously, you're not going to make any money. So that's, that's the surface of it. But if you think about it and tweak it a bit and say, okay, you know what, what if I keep the rights so I can sell that software to anybody else? So then I don't care what he pays me because I'm making my money through through the others, not through this guy. See, that just changed, it tweaked some parameters and the situation looks completely different. And the same thing here in many situations, just tweak a couple of parameters and you completely have a completely new situation. And that is what I'm saying. It's like, don't take anything at face value. Check the parameters. Check which parameters can be changed. What if I tweak those parameters? What advantages do I have then? And that's the kind of stuff that I wish more people took to heart because this is the kind of approach that gets you forward. Obviously, you're going to have setbacks. We all have setbacks. But the question is, and, and that's a secret to a, to a rewarding life, is how do you deal with your setbacks? That's the whole thing. We all got them. Nobody got no setbacks. But the, 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 the key issue is how do you deal with your setbacks?